a children's play park, a ball is kicked so that its path, flight path can be modeled by the equation h is equal to minus ax times x minus 6, where h meters is the height of the ball when it is x meters from a point where it is kicked. If the maximum height of the ball is 2 meters, uh, what's the value of a? So first, under let's understand uh, what the equation or what is it all about okay so what is what is being said that there is a ball being kicked suppose this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis okay so this is from where the ball is kicked this is where the ball is kicked okay so o is the origin this is your x-axis and this is your h-axis uh, your y-axis which is your height okay so on this to your taking the height of the ball on the y-axis we're taking the height and this is the distance the ball travels horizontally x is the distance it travels so you can understand the path of the ball is parabolic so let me draw a parabola so say this is the parabola it goes like this okay so this is how the ball goes it's kicked so it goes up and comes down okay okay so what is said now this is where it is kicked from and from the equation this is h is equal to minus a x times x minus x so when the ball when is the ball on the ground when the height is zero so you can say ball is on the ground ball on ground when h is equal to 0. When height is equal to 0, the ball is on the ground. So let us put h is equal to 0. So, well, this h is equal to 0 is equal to a times x minus a times x times x minus 6. So now think logically. When would this equation become 0? For which two values of x would this equation become 0? Well, your h Okay, so your x has to be 0. When x is 0, if x is 0, this x is 0, the whole thing will become 0. 0 times anything will give you 0. When would this become 0? Okay, for which value of x can this whole bracket become 0? Well, x is equal to 6. So in other words, when x is 0 or x is equal to 6, the ball is on the ground. And this does make sense, isn't it? When x is 0, yeah, the ball is on the ground. And when x is 6, this is 6, the ball is again on the ground. And this is 2 meters. It says the maximum height the ball reaches is 2 meters here. So this is a 2 meters. Now, as it's a parabolic path, we can understand this is the vertex or the turning point. This has to be halfway between the x-intercepts. So this has to be 3. So we're going to look at this in two different ways, probably. So this is 3, comma. Okay, so what they're saying is, if this is the equation, we want to find only A. So that's the only equation, but we'll check, try to write this equation in two different ways. So we can say, well, the equation is given to be H is equal to minus AX times X minus 6. Okay, so here, yeah, can we put... When x is 3, y is equal to 2. Okay, so because this is a point on the parabola, so we can say, well, when x is 3, your h is 2. So in 3 meters away, you yeah, the ball reaches the maximum height. So let's put this back in this equation. So you can say 2 is equal to minus a times 3, bracket 3 minus 6. So this is where you have to be extra careful. So this is where most students can do mistakes. So this is 2 is equal to minus 3 times a times minus 3. 3 take away 6 is minus 3. So 2 is equal to uh, 9a. 2 is equal to 9a. Am I right? So this implies you can say your a is 2 ninths. A is 2 ninths. 
Okay, so the equation of this parabola, so you can say A is too nice. So let us confirm whether this equation works. So we can say H is equal to minus 2 nines because minus is already there. Minus 2 9 X times X minus 6. Okay, so this is my graphic calculator and we'll check whether this point is 3 comma 2 if this point is 6 comma 0 and this point is 0 0. So get your calculators out and go to graph. Graph. Okay. And type in minus 2 uh, 2 x. I'll divide by 9 later on. 2 x times x minus 6 divide by 9 divide by 9. Okay, so actually this, let me explain that because this, that can be confusing. So this equation can also be written as h is equal to minus 2x times x minus 6 divided by 9. That's what I've divided, that's what I've done, minus 2x times x minus 6 divided by 9. Minus 2x times x minus 6 divided by 9. I know the scale, I'll go from 0 to say 10 okay I, I want to go from 0 to 6 step of 1 and i'll go from 0 to 5 step of 1 would do and this is your graph okay so i'll go g sol maximum when x is 3 y is 2 g sol these two points are called the root so press f1 so this is 1 1 0 0 and if you scroll press this key you'll get 6 0 so this is how you can confirm that your equation is right.